there are lots of different types of aquarium filters and it can be a bit tricky to figure out which one you might want to get. So I've put together a little guide here when I go through a couple of different ones and I also provide you the information you need about how they work. The filter provides several functions. They provide circulation, they pick up particles and dirt to make the water clear, and they house the beneficial bacteria. And housing beneficial bacteria is the most important aspect of the filter. In the tank we have something called the nitrogen cycle, and I'm going to explain that really quick. We will get fish waste and other waste products in the tank. These waste products will decompose, and that will release ammonia into the tank. And this is dangerous to the fish. We have one bacteria called the Nitrosomonas bacteria, and this will break down the ammonia into nitrite. Nitrite is also very dangerous to the fish, but then we have yet another bacteria called the Nitrobacter bacteria. And this will break down the nitrite into nitrate. And nitrate is harmless to fish as long as we keep the levels under control. Nitrate will get consumed by plants and we can also do water changes to keep the levels under control. I have a couple of filters in front of me here and since the internal filter is the most common one, uh, let's start by taking a closer look here. So I actually have three different internal filters here. Uh, they work in the same principle but uh, they differ a little bit. So let's get rid of these two for now and let's have a look at this one. So this internal filter is basically a power head in here and you can open the filter up and inside you have a sponge filter. And this is relatively easy to clean, you just have to take the whole pump out, remove the sponge filter and uh, rinse it in water. This is a good overall filter. But if you keep shrimps in your tank, this might not be the best choice because they can actually enter inside the filter here. Since I have this fine sponge filter, they don't actually get sucked into the impeller here. But uh, just need to be a bit cautious when uh, cleaning out the filter because usually there are a couple of shrimps in here. The next filter we're going to look at is uh, this one. So this is basically just a power head here and uh, also you can attach a sponge filter to this. And this is actually a very good filter. This is completely shrimp safe because they can't actually enter the filter. They will just sit on the sponge here and uh, eat stuff that gets caught by the filter. So if you have shrimps, a filter like this is a pretty good choice. So the last filter we're going to have a look at is this one. And this has a spray bar attached to it. So this makes the circulation a bit more calm. This is good if you have a lot of stem plants in your tank and you don't want them to, to bend over in the current. Uh, this is a pretty good choice. And uh, this filter is actually pretty shrimp safe as well. It's just a sponge filter inside. Uh, this is uh, custom made by me, but uh, it comes with another kind of sponge filter and also a little bit of mechanical media. But I decided to just get a finer sponge and put it in and it's shrimp safe, it's fry safe and it goes a little bit calmer on my plants. Now this is another type of filter. This is a hang on back filter. This is actually pretty great if you don't want to have your pump inside your tank. You just hang it on the back of your aquarium and this pipe here will go down and take up the water and the water will come out through this. So it's like a small waterfall effect. This is customizable when it comes to the filter material. Right now it's just a couple of sponge filters in it, but you can obviously change it to uh, any other media if you want to. You can also put a little sponge here on the intake to make it more shrimp and fry safe. Here's another type of filter and uh, to run these you need an air pump. These two work a little bit different, it's the same principle but in this one you put in your air hose and the bubbles will come here and go straight up. So you will get a current in the aquarium going up and down like this. While the other filter here, this works a little bit more uh, like an internal filter. You put it on the side and you can set the direction where you want the bubbles to come out 
and this will draw water and it will come out and create a current more around your aquarium like this. This is typically used for raising fish fry or shrimps. It's also a good option for people that have many tanks and want to run everything from one single air pump. There's one more filter I want to show and it's this big canister filter. Canister filters are typically used for bigger tanks. They are a bit bigger so they provide more filter material. They're also a great option if you want a clean looking tank. There are external filters with inbuilt heaters so you don't even have to have a heater inside your tank. There are also a lot of options for the pipes that you put in the tank. There are glass ones so they can be really discreet. Up here this is the inlet and outlet where you put the hoses that goes into the tank. I'm going to pop it open real quick so you can see some of the filter material in here. So inside this you can basically put whatever filter material you want in here. There are three baskets here where you can put different kinds of filter material. And there's also another kind of cartridge here with uh, some sponge filters. I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button if you found this helpful. Here's a good video when I visit Noel's Aquarium Hobby in Gothenburg. They have such a great variety of fish there and I think you might really enjoy that one. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.